Hi folks, Irish Trekkie, back with Season 2 of Elite Dangerous. We are in Sal System, and we are actually in a brand new ship. May I introduce you to the mighty, formidable, slightly weird angled Viper Mark IV. She's a nice looking ship. The Mark IV, uh, the Viper Mark III was beautiful. But I think there's just something, just something nice. Something very nice about this ship. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the ships because Horizons has landed. Hey, hey. And I had to come home. I had to go back. I had to come back to Sol. Because I want to make a trip to all these beautiful, beautiful places. And um, just test out. Ooh, surface map. This is all new to me. This is all very, very new. And I'm very excited. I'm still trying to tweak the settings, though, because some portions of the game are quite slow, but it is running 64 bit now. And I fear my machine is getting a little bit old. So here we have. Ooh, we've got three big, three spots on Mercury already. Um, interesting. Interesting. A city. Let's mark this anyway. As you can see, items with this blue ring around it will tell you that you can land here. And if they have this little line, it'll tell you that there's a settlement here as well. Let's zoom out here. Oh, we gotta go to Europa, don't we? Ganymede. Oh my god, we're gonna to get to go to all of them! Enceladus Ariel. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. So much fun. Okay. Onward we go. Um, I did get the Fear of the Lance and... Thoroughly enjoyable ship. But, I just figured, uh, just to get used to planetary landings, that I'd have a look at getting a smaller ship. Um, I will definitely pick up my Mark IV Cobra, but um, I fully spec'd out, I fully spec'd out my Viper here, so she's well capable. Good jump range. 22-ish. So, Ehrlich City. Hmm. Took forever to download it, but I will be starting season two off from the gutters to the stars, back to the gutters again with planetary landings. Oh, yeah! But, um, yeah, the, the spec for the min spec for the game has increased, so I've had to lower a few things. Okay, Mercury. And I love those dotted lines down there. It shows you that the area is behind the planet. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have planetary landing. On non, non atmospheric planets. But you can't land on the moon, though, I hear. Not yet, anyway. Okay. See, the UI has changed. Hmm, okay. Coming in hot and heavy. Altitude, 200 kilometers. Now, look, we can see. That's awesome how you can see things from like 200 kilometers away. I hear this is a big one. All ships come equipped with the planetary software, but they do not come equipped with the SRV module, so make sure to equip... Oh! Oh, we're, head we're entering glide mode. It's probably rendering the planet as well. Ooh, I love that it'll wind down. See, sometimes these load quick for me, sometimes they don't. It's not the game, I think it's the machine. 
Ooh, got my bits of bacon there if I get bakish. The interior of the Mark IV hasn't changed at all, has it? Okay. Now this definitely is a weird sensation. It's literally like you're gliding. It feels very heavy. Um, I've no tips or tricks right now because I haven't learned them yet. I'm just gonna try and get close. Okay. We're 50 kilometers out. Interesting audio. So planetary insertion has been successful. Yay! This looks like a big settlement actually. By the way, we're 3.2 kilometers up. It doesn't feel like we are. Everything at the moment is set on high. I had to reduce a few things down from Ultra. So our one-to-one -one galaxy has actually gotten one-to-one. -one. Oh! We have a shadow. Do we get a sense of speed, though? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, terrain map. Ooh, well, it'll be great to get a... Oh, it's rendering instead. What's the G on this? Oh, it's 0.38G. Okay. Ooh, there is a good sense of speed, actually, isn't there? Oh. God, I thought I was going to hit that. Like you're not in space. There is a sli there is there is a pull. <laughs> I don't know how I low I got there. If I crash now, I'd be in big trouble. Vertical thrusters seem to work okay. They can definitely get me out of a tight spot. Ooh, look at this. Very... Very Blade runner -y, actually. Get out, get out, watch the lights. Okay, I'm gonna try and land outside. Landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. There seems to be a door or something over here. Yeah. Can I land outside? Seems like I can. Bit of a flat spot here. There we go. Bring her back a little. Slowly, slowly. Would oh, you hear the audio change? Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Okay, okay, so if we look down here, uh, deploy, I have two stocked in case I break one, deploy, man the audio team are really good. Oop, hadn't rendered the doors yet, but anyway. Okay, let's have a quick look. Just, you can actually see how big, even the Viper. Not a massive ship. Here is our SRV. 
and she's outside a city. <gasps> it's so good. Oh, hello. Hello, under Mercury. Shouldn't really be clipping, should we? Why should you get the legs? It also has to sit that high. Are we going to scrape ourselves coming out? No, we're not. Nice. Let's go driving. Oh, yeah. Okay, now what we can do here, I think, dismiss the ship. Oh, so good. Oh. Vertical. That is so cool. And she's gone. And we can call her back anytime. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh. Easy. Where's that door? Everything just looks so freaking big now. I know we're in the ship, like. Now, what I have done is I have dulled down the sensitivity off my SRV steering and roll. Oh, here we go. There's an entrance over here. Easy. We are in SRV. It's not a rally car. Oh my. It's going to be so many cool races. I just know it. This city that we just flew over in like seconds. Look how big this is. Let's go for it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look how big those buildings are. They did not look that big before. <laughs> oh, I'm giddy. Guys. The sense of scale is ridiculous. Ooh, there's a road here. Where's this gonna take us? Oh. Okay, so each one of those lights has to be a stair has to be like a floor. What's down there? No, I'm not going down that way. Don't want to get stuck. Ooh, easy. Okay, so let's follow the road for a second. She's a bit flighty in the low G. She doesn't have all the traction that she normally would, I'd say. That's crazy. Oh look, there's a... That's just like watching it. Oh, there's another one. The ship's flying all over. Oh, that is so cool. And all the ships land around the perimeter ring. Hats off to the developers. And she's responding actually pretty nice. Ouch. Okay. We recovered. She's forgiving. Ramp. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're good, we're good.
No. Hangar base. Okay. Can we get out of here? Can we get out of here this way? Maybe. Actually, no, it doesn't look like we can. Looks like a dead end. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I took a bit of damage there. Oh, handbrake turn. Turn around. <laughs> Cheer the wheel, skin. What is that? So, let's have a look. SRV. Pretty nifty design, actually. I like it. Serious suspension. Can I get around here? Okay, for some reason it doesn't want me to go around here. Let's just try and go this way. No. Maybe it's just the awkward angle that I'm at. Oh, there's a ship flying above us again. Can we get out this way? No. We have to find a way out of here. And the road ends. So cool. I'm gonna probably have to do a lap of this place. Are we gonna have it? Yes. Oh. Oh. I don't know where I'm gonna land. Oh, there's a ramp up here. I know what I'm doing. Okay. It's probably went a bit funny. This has to be a way out, isn't it? No, I thought I was going to get up on that. Do you think you could take a ship through this? Do you think we should try and take our ships through this? <laughs> Oh, she's feeling the burn. Come on. We're gonna recall our ship. Ooh, look at that vista. <laughs> there's, a, there's a knack to it. Can't always be throttling. Ouch. Took a bit of damage there. Ooh. Ramp. Ouch, ouch, this is gonna hurt. Ah, only a few. So. I have to get really far from the station. Let's do it. Let's do this. Oh. Oh, oh. That's fine. At least I have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Come on. She's nippy. I like it. 
I'd love to see her on like a more a more G impacted world. Come on. Get some traction. Okay. Can we... Check you out here now? There we go. The SRV. She's good. I like her. I like that design. Here's our little safety thrusters. And there's directional thrusters in the wheel hubs as well. I like it. My little bug. How far do we need to go? We need to drive out 2k. It's picking up something on the sensors. Seems to be wanting to turn by itself. It's following the. Definitely following the terrain. I don't know where my ship is going to land out of here. Maybe we come across something. Go, go, go. Oh, and by the way, it has on board weapons? And a turret. Never leave home without my turret. Mercury. God, you're a bumpy little fecker. This is only taking me a matter of mere seconds in my ship. Ah. I thought that was something there, but it's just a funny rock. Let's just keep heading out. I still think I need to kind of bring back the sensitivity. Ooh! Mind the rock. Ramp. I will get over this peak, look. Ooh! Ouch. We're keeping the momentum. We know we're traveling backwards. Turn around. Pretty big dip here. Ooh. Okay. How far have we traveled? Ah, we only need to go 400 meters. 500 at the most. And hopefully, by then, there'll be some half-level ground. Easy. Oh, man. I still have to, I still have to do some serious practice on the SRV. Okay. Handbrake. Recall ship. 30 seconds. Ring, ring. Shippy, shippy. We'll keep an eye out for you. Like, you might be able to land over there. I'd say so. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's keep an eye out on the mini map. Oh, there you are. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out really good. Cool. 
Oh, look at the legs going up. Oh, that is sweet. So the legs work on actually hydraulics for deploying this. That's interesting. Okay, hang on. Back it up. Am I in the right spot? I am. No, no. Board chip. Do, 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 do. Bit of clipping, though. I'm sure that'll get fixed. It's still in the kind of beta. Oh. That was fun. Okay, now we're back in. So, ship secured. Hold right stick to launch. Yes, I am playing gamepad. Oh, there were not. Now, look how long it took us to get back. Oh. I did say I tried, didn't I? Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. It's not going to cost us too much. <laughs> It'll be worth it though, wouldn't it? Is the ship that big? Is it that big? If this works now... Oh, I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. I'm concentrating. <gasps> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I threaded the needle. Let's get the fudge out of Dodge. <laughs> no way. That was cool. Say goodbye to Mercury. Hey, so cool. And we're gaining speed. Okay, that's great. Neptune Ahoy. Oh, she's a nice ship. Man, that's a big city. Even from seeing it up here, like. Really cool. Well, thanks, folks. Stay tuned for season two of From the Gutters to the Stars. And I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of Mercury. And planetary landings and all the shenanigans and possibilities that we may have. I've been Irish Trekkie. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye